Call the air and that lets you save the Who cares? True form life. Green look on the Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community. Today, I'm bringing on another amazing guest. This is Jody Campbell, and she is from centralhealth.ca, a chiropractic clinic that we've been working with who has all kinds of health practitioners. Now, Jody is talking about leaky gut syndrome. I love this topic because we haven't talked about it before, and I think more and more people are dealing with digestive issues. Now, we need to get to the root of the issue, learn more about what's going on and how we can fix it. And Jody is the expert that you need to hear. (laughs) So I love this interview. She talks about how she was dealing with leaky gut herself, how she healed herself, and now how she heals her patients and clients. So stick around. We got all that coming up. This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated, Exploring Mind and Body. We have Jody Campbell with us right here, right now. Welcome to the show, Jody. Well, thanks, Drew. Thanks for inviting me. And uh, I look forward to just chatting and spending some time. Yeah, I love this topic that you are going to be speaking about today. We have so much going on. I feel like it's maybe a growing thing that's happening with our health. And I want to know what you've dealt with yourself in the past and how you can help not only your clients, but our listeners as well. So super excited to be here. Now, Jody, why don't you give us a, a sneak peek of your background, how you got into what you're doing and why we're talking about leaky gut today? Well, I wasn't always a gut geek, but now I would officially say that I am. <laughs> so my background is actually in, was in banking and then was experiencing really bad health, uh, lack of motivation, lack of energy, decided after having a couple of kids that I needed a career shift and shifted into something that I knew was going to benefit not only myself, but my whole family. So I went back to school with uh, two kids at home and it really just started from there. And then um, just when you're exposed to a lot more new content, new people, it's kind of like this whole world opens up uh, when you start studying nutrition and you really appreciate what your body does for you, but how you have to work in unison with it. I don't only just do my business online. I really like um, face-to-face contact with people. So from there, really just narrowed down to that niche of the gut. And my world just completely shifted again once I got familiar with that content and noticed even with clients sharing that piece with them and just really getting to ground zero of where they needed to start to heal that whole body. It's so easy as a parent or just anybody when you have a full schedule where you don't slow down and really pay attention to the symptoms that your body is communicating to you on a daily basis. And that's, that's what exactly what I, the trap that I was falling into was just excusing the symptoms. I don't have time for this. It's time for kids. Or I, I, don't, I don't have the time to really dig in and find out what, were, what was really going on. Then it was actually a book passed through my hands that I was supposed to pass on to somebody else. It wasn't even for me. It was from my own mom. And she's like, can you just pass this to your friend who's asking me some questions? So I actually read it before I passed it. (laughs) How long did you keep it for? And how long were you supposed to give it to the person? (laughs) (laughs) I kept that book. I no word like with a colicky baby and a a two-year-old. I kept that book and I read it in three nights because the information was so profound. I was like, why wouldn't my own mother tell me to read this book? I was supposed to pass it on to a friend. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. And it was literally, it was almost like a switch. I really had felt that I'd almost been tricked 
my whole life into thinking what health was supposed to look like and feel like. All right, so I want to tell you about the Silver Fern Aesthetic and Vein Clinic. Now, they specialize in a few areas. One is skin care. They'll tell you the difference between professional skin care and over-the-counter skin care. This is something that they specialize in as well as offering education to their customers and clients. Mineral makeup is one of their non-toxic type of products. They have no talc, perfume, dyes, alcohol, or anything else that may clog your pores. They also specialize in varicose and spider veins. I actually had the opportunity to stop in there and they helped me better understand who's more likely to get them, how to treat them, and even how to prevent them. And then they also offer detoxing products and services such as their universal contour wrap. They offer a clay solution. This gets rid of toxins, increases your energy levels, and much more. If you want more details, visit their Facebook page at Silver Fern Aesthetic and Vein Clinic. They're also offering free consultations from Dr. Jackson and their other skincare professionals. You can find them in Didsbury across from the train station, or you can give them a call at 403-335-8829. And that book just really opened up that I actually have way more control over what I put in my mouth and how I want to show up on a day-to-day basis. I learned that I had to take control back of what I was doing and learn to create some new habits. That's literally where it all stemmed from. Do you want to share the book with us? Book title? So the book title, I have it in my office here. It was actually called Healthy for Life was the name of the book. Healthy for Life. I feel like I know that title or I've heard of it before. Uh, It's an, I don't even know how old that book was, but it just really focused in on that inflammation and the blood sugar roller coaster. And that was exactly why I was feeling like garbage all the time. I was totally addicted to sugar, addicted to carbs. Was it really understanding that correlation of what I was putting into my body was exactly why these symptoms were showing up on a day-to-day basis. And as soon as I learned that, wow, everything, my life just took a completely different direction. That's awesome. It's kind of crazy how these things in life, there's it's like the smallest thing. And I feel like you get it. Like It's the smallest thing. It's like a little message that we were supposed to get. And that book was meant for you, even though it wasn't meant for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just sometimes the timing of things, maybe I wasn't going to listen. Maybe if it had shut across my path a year ago, maybe I would have remembered the title, but you know, maybe I wasn't really interested. Maybe I wasn't really looking forward or looking for something to be different in my life. But I think at that point, I really was going, okay, this can't be how it needs to be. You know, it's funny. I had a similar experience. There were some books, there were three books on a a bus stop. So I was walking by, I was walking home. There's three books on a bus stop. And I really, I really enjoy books. I'm always reading some book or another. Yeah. Too. <laughs> and I'm looking around and these books are just sitting there perfectly. Like someone was like, here, take these books. <laughs> And I'm, I'm looking around and I'm like, there are these beautiful books. Like, I love books in every way. They're so beautiful. And like they're, when they're put together, they're like little art forms. I have so much appreciation for books. And I'm like, they're sitting here and no one's around. And it was almost like a gift. Mm-hmm. Like, here, take these books. So that's what I did. I took these books home and I started reading them. And I was like, oh my gosh, like right here in my life right now, this is exactly what I needed to, to read. Right. So, Jody, let's get to leaky gut syndrome. This is something that you've dealt with yourself? 100%. And it actually took me quite a bit of time because I don't think that the accessibility of content was really available when I really was digging deeper into inflammation. And that's really where I got my start was inflammation. And then I'm like, but that still doesn't feel like I've addressed or found really what ground zero was in the body. I understood inflammation and the oxidative stress and the free radical damage. Great. But it still felt like, well, what is contributing to this inflammation? Where does it really all stem from? And when you start digging and then now you kind of have this path, it was when I started reading about leaky gut or specifically uh, that microbiome piece. And that's that was it. And that's when I'm working with clients when they're telling me all of the symptoms that they have 
it's so refreshing and so nice to go, okay, well, let's just go start with ground zero. We're not going to start chasing symptoms. Just want to take a minute to mention Complete Truth Protein. This is a protein supplement that we designed at True Form. We believe in food. We believe food heals, cures, and prevents. That's why this product is much different than your conventional types of products. Unfortunately, packed with chemicals, preservatives, toxins that our body doesn't know how to utilize, digest, and absorb. So that's why Complete Truth Protein can help improve your digestion and will offer a natural boost of energy. You can find more details at trueformlife.com slash Complete Truth Protein. And that's where I think I can, I know I can relate to a lot of the clients that I work with because I was on that path of chasing this symptom and this symptom and this symptom, but not realizing it was the whole leaky gut piece that was really the root cause of everything that I was dealing with. So some of the things that uh, many of your listeners will be able to relate to, uh, migraines, headaches, uh, inflammation, like really bad skin into my 30s. <laughs> mood. Oh, I was always in a bad mood. <laughs> I think my peak time of the day was from 12 to 1. And if you caught me before or after that, it probably wasn't going to be a very good interaction. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> totally. And just no motivation. A lot of brain fog. Uh, and that's a lot of women that I am dealing with. They they feel that this is it's normal. It's it, it's common, but it's not normal for the body to feel like that day in and day out. So this whole leaky gut piece, when people understand the mechanics of it, it's easy enough just to throw those words out. But when you can actually break down the mechanics of where this inflammation is stemming from, people then realize, oh my goodness. I totally have choices here. I can't, I just don't have to throw my hands up in the air and go, well, this is the way that it needs to be. When they understand the mechanics, when it goes to food, when they're eating, swallowing, what's happening at that dig- in the digestive tract and what contributes to that leaky gut and inflammation, you can start, I guess, connecting those dots for them. They get it. We, you, you can really simplify so how did you know, how did you personally know you had leaky gut? It was more symptom related. Yes, you can go and get certain blood work done to find out how much is actually leaking. Certain proteins are leaking out of your leak, out of your digestive tract into the bloodstream. I didn't need to go that far. What I needed to do was identify my food. What, what was I eating that was contributing to the breakdown of the lining of my digestive tract? What was actually causing those holes? in the digestive lining so that I could do that repair work so that the system remained sealed. We don't have any more physical leaks happening outside of the body so, or that digestive tract. And what were some of the triggers? Was it anything mm-hmm. other than, was it specific for you, anything other than processed food, refined sugar? You know what? It, it was 100% a major contributor was sugar in my diet and I wasn't really clear where it was actually showing up until I started keeping a food journal and everything that I was passing past my lips into my body. And then I could really start to see a pattern. Then another piece was, okay, so let's just um, change the foods that we were eating. So I really focused in on adding in to the diet notes, so not so much the deprivation and removing whole food groups. And because I realized that everybody was, everybody's body is different and what's going to work for one isn't necessarily going to work for the other, especially when we're dealing with gut health and that leaky gut piece. For me, it was diet, 100% it was diet. Okay, so the, let's nerd out here for a second. The, Mm -hmm. The scientific, parts of leaky gut, I picture a gut actually leaking. Is that what it is? Absolutely. So there's your gut is literally leaking. Where is it leaking to? Your bloodstream. Yeah, it's leaking right into the bloodstream itself. So now what's happening now is the immune system goes, the blood goes, okay, this is this is not supposed to be here. And it triggers an immune response because now the immune system goes, hey, what, what is this particle of food or what is this protein? It could be bacteria, it could be parasites, it could be viruses that are actually physically leaking from the digestive tract right into the bloodstream. Now we're triggering an immune response. And when we continue to trigger that response, 
uh, that immune system is really trying to handle that inflammation as well. When we keep triggering it, now the immune system starts to create antibodies. As a longtime family-owned business here in Olds, I think it's more important than ever to support local business. Hi, Aaron here from The Tire Shop. By shopping at a locally owned small business, you're supporting those who give back to the community by supporting organizations like charity groups, local fundraisers, minor hockey and figure skating, gymnastics and other clubs your children participate in to learn and grow. This of course supports local wages and local incomes in order for families to prosper in local businesses and to keep our town alive. If it costs you an extra dollar, it's a dollar that goes back to the community and keeps the local economy thriving. So go grab a cup of coffee or a sub, maybe even a case of beer at your locally owned business today and keep this conversation going because it's the heart of the community the tire shop always trying to give a helping hand and it remembers it every now time every time say that same particle of food or something else passes through it remembers it and it flares up and it's trying to get it under control and out of the body Okay, so what if someone has some of these, has migraines, they have some of these symptoms that you're talking about, acne, uh, emotional issues, let's say, yeah, and they feel like it could be leaky gut. How do we know or how can they be like, yes, this is it or it's something completely different? It really goes back to when I do a consultation with somebody and I ask a lot of questions as to what their current state of gut health is. So we look at antibiotic use, um, bowel movements. We're really looking at the bigger picture because all body systems will go back to relying on an optimized digestive system. So when the individual, we look at diet, it's never just, um, yes, you do have leaky gut. No, you don't have leaky gut. You really do have someone that needs to kind of guide you through uh, and look at all of the pieces to find out what is going to be the best approach. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when you're working with an individual or with one of your clients, you go through a, a long list or an in-depth, let's say, <laughs> in-depth list of questions? Yes, because gut health really is, I guess it's it's a really big topic and it's a really big system and there's lots of components to it. When we're talking about leaky gut, most times what we're referring to and I want to refer to here is that small intestine piece. Uh, There are other pieces of the digestive system that can become compromised and usually if you do have a leaky gut, we know that other areas are compromised as well. Um, When we are, when I'm meeting with clients, I go through a whole gut health checklist and it really takes them all the way back to childhood, really getting a health history to know um, where things may have gone wrong or what has been compromised in that gut. So it's never just, what, do you, what did you do last week? It's what's been building up over time. Okay, so once you go through this analysis and you have a pretty good idea of, of course everyone's different, but you have a pretty okay. good idea of what's going on with this individual, what's the next step? So for somebody after that, Uh, I'm either going to, depending how, this is what I do, depending on how far the body is in overdraft, okay? This is, I guess, where my banking (laughs) (laughs) this terminology. There are times when the body is so far into overdraft, and I guess the interest you could equate to symptoms. (laughs) The, The interest is so high that you really have to be gentle with the body. And then there are some people, maybe they're just going into that overdraft position where it might be easier with them learning some new habits when it comes to food or lifestyle changes, um, will be able to get themselves out of an overdraft position. Somebody who's a lot farther into overdraft, we know then that multiple body systems are involved and they do need a gentle approach and you do need to know that individual's health history to help them navigate that and also knowing What can they be consistent with as far as learning those new habits? Some people think they could just go in and do a special diet for 60 days, thinking that's going to keep them out of overdraft. It doesn't. And then they really start complicating what really needs to happen. And that just needs to make those subtle shifts and new habits to pull that body out of overdraft, but really focusing in on what's going to work for them personally and understanding the mechanics of what happens when you eat food and it hits that digestive tract. Food does make 
90% of what we need to focus on when I'm working with clients is that what are we using as food to heal the body and nourish the body. I just want to take a moment to tell you about our monthly membership. At this point, we've been doing this membership for just over a year, and it's still one of my favorite projects I'm working on. One of my favorite things to do is to wake up in the morning and see what's going on in our private membership group, see what pictures are going up, what questions are coming in, what someone's, what one of our members' meals look like. So what we do within this on 100% online membership is we offer support, we offer nutrition and meal plans, and we offer fitness routines. The fitness routine are all body weight exercises only. You don't need any equipment. They take about 20, 25 minutes, possibly 30 minutes if you're taking your time to get through a workout. We also plan your recovery days. So we set this out each Monday morning so you know exactly what you're doing for the entire week. We also do meal planning. So within our meal plans that we send out each week, we have recipes, grocery shopping lists, and more to help you understand how to prepare the food, what to buy, and what nutrients we're putting in our body. We also have video tutorials, video recipes, all exclusive to this membership. And finally, we offer group support, which could be the most valuable aspect of our membership. So these are like-minded individuals that we put you together with in a one private group for you to ask questions, keep you accountable. And then we also do fun contests, giveaways, and more. So if you're looking for a little help getting on the right track, head over to trueformlife.com for more details. True you know what? That's interesting that you're talking about the bank, bank, like relating the bank. I think it's awesome because everyone relates health differently. Like many, like most, the most frequent one is when like personal trainers use gas for their cars, right? Like it's mm-hmm. so boring, but I like the bank thing. But think about this for a second. I, I like how it's like a lot of times people think that they want to save for long term, long term savings. Maybe they want retirement or they want financial freedom and they only save for like two weeks. And then they come to you and they're like, why don't I have enough money to retire? (laughs) Um, You know, and I think we just get so stuck in this mindset that everything is instantaneous. And if you, you know, sometimes we just have to learn because a lot of people go, well, how long will this take me to heal? But that's always the next one. How long do I have to? Well, when can I start eating burgers again? (laughs) And that's really, I'm not the the health coach for them then if they're just looking to lose those quick fiber tech. 10 pounds. I'm, I'm not that coach because I'm looking for them to be able to be sustainable. So when we're done our coaching sessions or they have participated in one of my programs, they know exactly what they need to do. This isn't uh, pick up where you left off. This is you shift moving forward, but this is where you need to put your focus to get the maximum amount of benefit for that particular person. So if someone comes to you, maybe do you have any quick health tips or maybe do you have two or three things that our listeners could take away from this conversation that says, yes, this can improve my health. What can I do? So a couple of tips that I always say right away, slow down, pay attention. (laughs) That's the first thing is I think people are in such a rush that they really don't even pay attention to the signals or the symptoms that their body is communicating to them. If they could just slow down and just really pay attention. And are you talking about mindful eating, like chewing your food, enjoying your food, or is it slow down and look at your life and what's happening to it? I think slow down and really just take an inventory of your life. I would, I'm going to go out on a limb here that if your health isn't where you would like it to be, there are probably other areas in your life that are on track either. And your health is typically going to be that one piece that pays the highest price. I love it. Any other tips that you have before we wrap things up here? Uh, The other piece is get help. (laughs) (laughs) I think often people are trying to Google everything and every symptom. And when you can have somebody help you navigate that through that, you can compress that time to wellness. Uh, And don't get confused with what's out there. This, this, this isn't hard stuff, but when you can have somebody uh, navigate and piece together what's the right pieces for you and where your current state of health is, you're going to get to where you want to be a lot faster. You know, that reminds me of the conversation I just had with Jackie that, that her show <laughs> aired about a month 
a month ago before this will air. And she was mm-hmm. talking about uh, cupping, for example, or the different tools that she was using. And I yes. said, well, can people buy their own? She's like, they can, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then I said, well, it's the same thing. Like I spent a lot of my time in my early years as a personal trainer and you see like new year's resolutions or people that have never been into a gym and they like clang weights around or they're like swinging things around and you're like, what are you doing? And then of course they leave. It doesn't work. So I always say you wouldn't go into a dentist office and start poking your mouth with tools. Why would you go to a a gym and do the same thing? (laughs) And it really goes back to, Everybody has a price tag. I know everybody's like, oh, you can't put a price on health. Oh my goodness. Everybody does. Even I do. Yeah, that's right. So when you say go, like you're talking about going to see a professional, going to get some guidance. I think like so many of us are lost and we're like, I've tried all these diets. Like I'd imagine you're against the whole diet thing, but I've tried all these fed diets and they don't work. All right, Jody, we're going to wrap things up here. I uh, just want to give you a chance to mention, I know you have your own th- stuff going on. Maybe people can come and see you if they have any leaky gut symptoms or they want to talk to you for a consultation, something. How can they get a hold of you? Well, if you want to meet a gut geek in person, <laughs> uh, I do work out of Central Health and Wellness in Airdrie. So I do do uh, one-on-one gut health consultations, really helping somebody to re- narrow down uh, where their system is compromised and where they can start from. And I also do free workshops from the clinic that are gut health related because the gut is such a big topic and people are seeing bits and pieces showing up in articles everywhere. Where could you come for 30 minutes? Uh, and have somebody answer your questions and, and learn from others answering questions as well. So I do those once a month at Central Health as well. And I do do an online program where it's called It Takes Guts. And there is a high level of personalization that you're also being teamed up with a group of people where we're going through the mechanics and my video of how to really heal that gut. So it's kind of a bundled bundled program, then that's a good approach too. Awesome. And then are you on social media? I know we, we're going to send our listeners also to centralhealth.ca. Do you have other social medias that, or anything you want to share? I do. So I do have a, a website. So it's jodycampbell.ca. So uh, J-O-D-I-E and then campbell.ca. I'm also on Instagram and uh, Facebook. But if you go onto my website, all of my links are there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. I really enjoyed this conversation. So much to learn and so much to take away. So thank you very much. Thanks, Drew. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of Exploring Mind and Body. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community. Thank you for being here and sticking around till the end. Absolutely love that interview. Jody is awesome. She's got so much great and valuable information to share with us. And again, I think so many of us are dealing with digestive issues on different levels. It's time to take control of our health, just like she's talking about. I think it's so cool that one thing changed her entire path to where she is now. And we're so fortunate she took that message or note and went down this road so she could share her expertise with us. All past shows are going up on exploringmindandbody.com. If you ever miss a show, you can always check out past shows there. We also have a free app that you can download on any Apple device. More details are at trueformlife.com. This is where we do our own meal planning, recipes, grocery shopping list, at-home workouts, and more. And I want to shout out to our longtime sponsors. We have GDK Gravel and Sand, who does residential and commercial, and they deliver to all of Mountain View County. That's GDK Gravel and Sand. We also have AG Foods in Didsbury, who's more like a health food store. They've got all kinds of healthy options. They'll even bring in healthier options if you ask. So don't be afraid to tell them what you want brought in. Again, that's AG Foods in Didsbury. And lastly, don't forget about Complete Truth Protein. This is a protein supplement we designed ourselves. It's made from plant-based whole foods. Easy to digest, utilize, absorb, turn into energy. This will help with digestion, and it will give you a natural boost of energy. You can add it to smoothies. You can even bake with it as gluten-free flour. More details at trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. Once again, thank you so much for being here. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. As always, I'm your host, Drew Taddea, in health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening.
You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.